Just painting all my miscellaneous parts. Candy green and some of the parts gonna be black. Like my door handles and my locks gonna be gloss black. My side skirts, I gotta paint them candy green. And I got a few more things. I just can't recall all of them off hand. But I got them in the booth right now. Oh, I got the uh, the T top piece to go right here. I'm gonna paint it. And uh, what else I got? Oh, the mirrors. Just a few more things, but I'll show them to you once I get in the booth. I just had this outside. I had it covered up. Just want to move on so I can go on and knock it on out. I done did all the body work on the Z28 Camaro. Now I got to do my miscellaneous pieces. I got my side skirts here. I gotta sand these down and also I gotta fix some spots that was broken. Fiberglass and back together. I had fixed that spot when it was on the car. And I got my back that go to the hatch glass. I just took it off. It's right here. And I got the T-top piece. I gotta sand it all down. It's rusted. A lot of just surface rust. So I'm gonna try to clean that up. These pieces here go on the side of the car where the door glass slide up into that. And these pieces here go on the hatch glass to trim around the edges. I got the spoiler here. I got to repair some spots on the spoiler. Some of the pieces then came out, so got to fix that. Then I got the T-tops over here. I'm going to paint this black, gloss black on both of them. All these pieces here going black. It's going candy green, candy green. And these three pieces going candy green. So I'll be doing all that in this video here. I think the first thing I'm going to do is prepare these pieces onto the spoiler. I finished up repairing the attachments on the spoiler. I just put some fiberglass filler, filled it up. I just used some bundle glass, repaired that one. This one, and this one here, put a little filler back there because it started cracking, and this one. And I also repaired the side skirt I got right here. Repaired that one and that one. You can see it from the back side. Since I'm on these side skirts, I might as well go on and sand these down. I'm going to use 180 to get all the chips, feather edge, everything. 180 on the DA. Got this one here sanded down and feather edged. You can see right here where it's feather edged at. I'm gonna show you on this one that I haven't done what you need to be looking for. See right here is where the previous painter they didn't sand it good, so it started chipping. 
like up in there. Look. It wasn't sanded. The paint ain't gonna stick to it if it ain't sanded. So I'm gonna have to remove all that because if I don't, I'll be painting on top of it and my paint won't stick neither. Like up under here, the paint chilling. Got a feather edge out that. It's gonna look like this when it's done. I guess I go ahead and sand everything down. Like this spoiler here, I'm gonna sand it down, feather edge it. You can see right here where it's shipping it. You just peel it back. You gotta make sure you sand it because if you don't, the paint ain't gonna burn to nothing. I'll take care of all this, then I'll cut it back on. Probably when I start doing this here. The T top piece. Just finished up sanding everything. Also went and put some of this spot put on some of my little scratches, minor imperfections. Sanded the door handles down and the locks. We're gonna paint them black also. Sanded that piece. Got the spoiler here. Sanded it real good, feather edged it. Got this sanded down on the back side also. T-top sanded down. I'm going to paint this black. And the other side skirts. Now I'm going to get to this T-top piece here. I'm going to clean it up. Well, I'm going to try to clean it up with a wire brush. And see what it do. I guess we'll go from there. It's coming clean, somewhat. A couple spots pitted, so I'm gonna have to wipe some fiberglass filler in those spots. Fill them little holes up. But I think I'm gonna be able to get it clean enough so it'll look decent. Now I'm gonna fill it with some fiberglass filler, some bundle glass, all the pitted areas. And I got a few deans on the top of it I got to fill up. I had cut two pieces of fiberglass mat to put along this end on both sides. Just where the holes for the screw go. And I'm going to drill them holes back out just to strengthen it because on the other side, you probably can see from here, it was kind of pitted and it was eating through. So I had put that fiberglass mat right there to strengthen it. I pretty much got this T-top trim taken care of. I had put some body fill on it, even everything out. I think I got it the best I can get it. But I almost forgot about these uh, pieces here. Good thing I didn't. I need to paint the mirrors. I need headlight bells of pieces. I'm going to paint these candy green and the mirrors candy green. So I'm going to prime all this stuff with the rest of it. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to hang everything or position everything. I know I got to hang these two pieces up and these pieces here and the mirrors. The rest of it, I could just sit them down on the stands. So let me finish this up and I'll cut you back on. I finally got everything situated and hung up and sitting on stands like I need it. I was able to get everything in the booth. Let me walk you around and show you some of the stuff. Where how I got it hung up. Got this hung up by a chain. Spoiler by a chain with two chains. I got the mirrors hung up by a fishing line. I ran out of chains, so I had to use fishing line. Got the side skirt sitting on the stand. Got the T-tops right here. The handles on the box with the locks. The headlight bezels and the little two trim pieces. 
And I got these hung up also. I'm going to spray epoxy primer first. And after I spray the epoxy, I'm going to come back with some high beer primer. one coat of epoxy primer on the pieces I didn't put epoxy on everything I just put them on the plastic pieces with them fiberglass, fiberglass pieces I meant and the uh, bare metal spots like this here because it's bare metal and I just went on and sprayed this epoxy to that I didn't do the mirrors I'm gonna get ready to spray the high beer primer now. I'm gonna put at least four coats of high beer primer on it because I'm gonna try not to block it out with 180. I'm just gonna try to go scrape the wet sand. So I'm gonna put enough high beer primer on it to fill up all the scratches. up with the primer I just put three coats of primer on it high beer primer I believe that's gonna get me where I need to be as far as going straight to wet sand I see a few imperfections but spot like that some down here but I'm just gonna put some glaze and put it in that and that should take care of all that 
I'm gonna put this glazing put in here. Spot put it. Then after that, I'm gonna spray some guide coat over it. Then in the morning, I guess I start wet sanding. But everything turned out good, except the little side skirt stuff. But the rest of it, pretty smooth. Here. Spoiler. I put my little spot putty in my little areas I need to fix. dry guide coat on it where it's flat black spray paint I'm just gonna lightly mist it on just take the pan up and just lightly mist it on that's all you need it's gonna show you all your low areas guide coat this guide coat gonna help me find all my low areas it's also gonna help me know where I done sand it where I haven't sanded that when I start wet sanding but I hit wet sanding well I actually was outside wet sanding it got dark on me so I came on the inside but I got most of it done I just gotta do this this deck lid and these pieces here then I'll be done with the wet sand. I done got the T-tops. All my other stuff over here. I think I'm going to paint these T-tops. At first I said I was going to paint this gloss black. But I believe I'm going to paint a candy green. I think it'll look better. Candy green. And also this piece over here. I think I'm going to paint this skin green at the top and the gloss black at the bottom. But I've been wet sanding with 320. Got some 320 here. It's about Evercoat. I use the sand, wet sand with 400. I'm about out of this, so I grab my Evercoat. And what I do, I just get some soapy water, warm water. I got two blocks here. This here, flex. This flex too though, but it's kind of stiffer than that one. Then I cut this 320 in half, like this here. And I just wrap it around my block. Let me get it together and I'll cut it back on and I'll show you what this guy coat gonna do. I got it wrapped around my block. I just dip it in the water and I just bring it up here. And I do cross patterns with the sand. I had a little run right here in the uh, epoxy primer, but I'm going to sand that and I'm going to show you the guide coat. It's going to show my low area. Let me wipe it. You can see this low where the guide coat still at and where that run at that was high because you can see the epoxy primer coming through. I just want to clean it up. I want everything to look gray like this here. Let me take care of that. Now we can see it a lot better. I done cleaned up all the guide coat. Well, just in this area here, I still ain't done that over there. But you can see where the run was in the epoxy primer. I also had one here. 
I got it flat now. But right here where this brown metal at, that's a high spot. I'm going to shoot some more primer right there. But it really don't matter because it's high because that spoiler going right over here. It's going over the them holes. But I just wanted to show you that. I done cleaned everything up, wiped it down, wax and grease removal. I'm going to spray all my black pieces first. I just got these two pieces and this right here. Then I was going to go straight to the candy coat, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to shoot that in the morning. I'm going to go on and spray my black and go on and clear it. Then I'm going to come back tomorrow and scuff it up. Then I spray this and mask it off and I spray this candy green. I'm just going to clear the black pieces by themselves. I was going to do them together with the candy green, but I'm just going to get it out the way. I got the candy green stuff over here cleaned up. I just got it covered up for now. Let me mix this jet black up. Then I'll cut you back on. Finished up with the jet black. Still see a little imperfection right there. But once I put the clear on it, I will sand that out. So it'll be good to go for the candy. I had moved these because at first I had them up here when I was spraying them, but I couldn't get to this piece good, so moved it out the way. Mix this clear up and I spray the clear on. I probably just put maybe two coats on this, maybe one, because I don't want to get it stuck. I don't want the clear to bridge, which I know it's still going to bridge, but I should be able to break it loose so the locks could open. Let it sit overnight. Come back out here tomorrow. And I'll uh, wet sand this one here. 
and mask it off and get ready for the candy along that top. There you can see that little imperfection now. Right there. I'm finishing up on the masking of this T-top piece. I done masked the black off. Now I got a wet sand this part here. And then I'll be good to go on that. I'm also setting everything up to be painted. Pretty much got it done. Mirrors over here now. Only thing left I gotta do, I gotta scuff this car up here. This little model car, he want me to paint it the same color, candy green. So I gotta scuff it up and put some adhesion promoter on it and mask the. I gotta mask the um, lights and windshield and the back glass and the tail lights off and the wheels the t-tops come off though so I just take these off and mask the inside off once I get through with that I'll be good to paint ready to do some spraying now see I got the Z28 propped up I got the door somewhat open so the clear on bridge Need to open this hood here so it won't bridge. I got the deck lid right here and the mirrors taped off on the side. But I had to tuck it apart, I took the whole bottom off. It made it a lot easier for us masking it. And everything else over here. We're going to spray the gold base coat first. After I wipe everything down with wax and grease removal. Then I spray the gold base. up with the gold base coat I had put four coats I usually just put three but some of the spots where I had cut through wet sanding where it was dark at three coats didn't cover it so I put four if I would put a seal on it at first I would have just had to put three it was mainly on this deck lid you probably could see it when I was spraying it I had a first coat, one cover. If I would have put a seal on it, I would have been good to go. But this four coats here. Let me mix up the candy. It's going to be an emerald green candy. Then I'll go ahead and spray it.
four coats of the candy. It's just candy, no clear coat. Clear coat coming next. Can't really get a good. There you go. Let me mix up this clear so I can get going on this clear. Finished up everything. I put three coats of clear. Let me walk you around it. Show you what it's looking like. I still gotta put these two tops back in, put everything back together. Once I put everything back together, I'll cut you back on. Show you what it looked like.
Right from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we right never stop. Right from the bottom.